Hello my friends, just thought I'd come on today and have a quick chat about the freelance graphic design mentality that is required to make it as a freelancer. I've got five tips for you and I think these five tips will really help you going forward. So let's get straight into it. Mentality block number one, the self-doubt and imposter syndrome. It's something I've suffered with before and I've got this completely out of being a, a freelance graphic designer. It does not affect me anymore. It's that feeling that you're not good enough. But one thing that you need to understand really quickly is, is that there are designers out there that are less talented than you, that are willing to work harder than you and are willing to market more. And we'll get into that in a second. But the whole idea of this is to fake it till you make it. And I believe if you do that, you will get rid of self-doubt and imposter syndrome. Remember that every bit of work that you put out is worth something. It is all worth money because time is money. And when you understand that time is money, that's when the self-doubt and imposter syndrome starts to wear off. That's mentality block number one that you need to get over as a freelance graphic designer. And that does take a while, but you will get there. Tip number two, hold yourself accountability. Now as a freelance graphic designer, this is what I love about the industry. That when it fails, it's my fault. And when I succeed, it is on me. Once you start holding yourself accountable, you'll become a better graphic designer. Don't be looking for blames, blaming the algorithm, blaming your content. You know, a lot of the time, the algorithm isn't a fault. It's that your content's just not good enough and it's not resonating with your audience. And I will be doing videos on how to create better content this month. So stay tuned for that. Mentality block number three, and I told you I'd come back to it, it's the unwillingness to learn marketing as a graphic designer. A lot of graphic designers are just wanting to play about with colours and typography and make really cool things, and that's good. As we know, aesthetics is not the only thing that makes a great brand identity, but it's the unwillingness to learn marketing. Now remember this, if you take one thing away from this video, just remember this. Graphic designer who is not as talented as you, that learns how to market, will always beat the more talented graphic designer who doesn't know how to market themselves. You could be a fantastic graphic designer, have the best portfolio in the world, but if you don't know how to get clients and how to market yourself, you're never going to make it. So we scrap that right there. If you're a designer that's up and coming, but you focus a lot more on the marketing side, uh, but you're a good graphic designer, you know, you're decent enough, you will find more clients than graphic designers that are better than you. So take that one thing away from this video, if anything. Mentality block number four, you're scared of what people think. I keep on talking about how to create content as a graphic designer. You need to be creating content. You showing that you're an expert will have clients coming your way instead of you reaching out constantly. And outreach is a good way to get clients, don't get me wrong, but it's always better when they come to you. And the content creation is what I talk about quite a lot. It's close to my niche market in a way. Not, not, not many graphic designers are posting content. And I've noticed when I've started posting mine, it's it's almost two X to be client base. It's been, it's been really good. Uh, so you're scared of what people think. My advice to you is to tweet, tweet like nobody's going to see it. And if you go about that, you're going to grow on Twitter like crazy. That's what's going to happen if you're going to tweet like nobody's going to see it. Just share your thoughts about graphic design, share your knowledge, share your experience, and try and be a little bit entertaining alongside and post a thread a week. And I promise you, you'll, you'll, get, you'll get clients and you'll gain an audience. That, there's no doubt about that. I think we all know now if you put in the efforts, that's the way it's going to go. And our last mentality block. I always talk about this. I'm quite big on the, the, the fitness industry. You, you, you're lacking discipline. You need to be able to work when you don't feel like it. And how do we create that mindset of where we work when we don't feel like it? Well, the first thing we can do is we can have a desk that's tidy. You know, you can't work in a cluttered environment. That's not possible. But let's talk about some other things. You know, you need to be getting eight hours sleep a night. I know this might sound stupid, but when I'm, when I'm fully recharged and I'm sleeping well and I'm not relying on caffeine, I'm a much better graphic designer, I'm a lot more alert. And how else do we get more alert? Well, we do a workout five days a week, go to the gym, weight train, you know, do your cardio and, and just get on with it. Even if you don't want to go to the gym, you should go anyway. And what will that do? That will transfer over to freelance graphic design life. It's like, I can go to the gym when I don't feel like it. So now I'm going to work when I don't feel like it. It's an easy mentality uh, to, to gain, but you just have to do shit that you don't want to do. So yeah, that is it. That's how to become a freelance graphic designer. And that's the mentality that is required. 
If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a retweet. And uh, I appreciate all the support. You know, I think we're uh, going to close in on 3,500 3, followers very soon. And literally not even two weeks ago, we were on 2,400, something like that. So I really appreciate it. I'm, I'm glad this content is resonating with you guys. And I will keep doing this stuff. I'm writing a thread, a thread a day at the moment. That's a challenge that I'm doing to try and boost my engagement. So I appreciate all the support. And thanks very much for watching. Happy freelancing. Take care.